happens when Space Bloop fights Space Godzilla? Let's find out. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kid, and today we're going to be checking out some very very cool Godzilla slash bloop animations. Uh, these particular animations are made by a channel called Gazillod. So uh, I'll have a link in the description down below. You should definitely check out their channel. There's a lot of cool stuff, but specifically we're going to be checking out the bloop vs. Godzilla series. And uh, it seems pretty crazy. Uh, that's that's all I know. I have not watched it. This will be my first time. I don't know what that thing is. It it looks kind of like Godzilla, but kind of not like Godzilla. So yeah, the, the, who knows what you're gonna get. It should be a fun time. That is definitely Godzilla. And that's Shark, Sharkzilla, probably. And Sharkzilla is about to get inhaled whole by Bloop. And that's just, I'm pretty sure that's just regular, regular old Bloop. Not special Bloop, not Red bloop, dark bloop, space bloop, psycho bloop, just bloop. So that's that's what bloop does. He swims around with his mouth open and eats stuff, including sharkzillas from time to time. Supposedly, allegedly, definitely. Okay. What are you doing, bloop? Just, just minding your own business? What is this that is out of focus? in front of us. Oh, it's just rocks. Okay. Oh, there's several bloops. They're, they're on their morning commute. Hey, Bob. Hey, Frank. What are you doing? Just blooping it up. What is that? I don't know what that was. It looked bloop-ish. Oh, look. It's an adorable bloop family. They're so majestic. Bloop is such a weird creature. Ah, uh, you're shooting lasers? No, oh, the Whalezilla got out of that bloop by using his, his Whalezilla lasers, obviously. Oh, uh, what? What is that? Okay, so we saw like a reddish thing. Now we've seen like a grayish bloop. Oh, what is wrong with your face? What happened? You got a spiky tail, too! Okay, that thing is freaky looking. Straight up. I don't even know what that is, but I want to see it fight Godzilla. That's what I need. So Godzilla's going down. Going for a swim. That's... That... Is that Whalezilla? He's a... He's a big boy. Got barnacles all over him? I don't know what that thing was. Wait, was that that thing that we saw earlier? I think that was the thing we saw earlier. I don't, and again, I don't know what it was. It, it moves real fast, though, and it's freaking me out. I don't like your arms. Why do you have such stubby little arms? You just have these little weird... What is happening to your neck and stuff? I don't know. Okay. That is... That bloop is upsetting me because its mouth can close. Why? Bloop's mouths don't close. This is unacceptable. Oh my gosh. Okay, the, the, and now the conflict has begun. And I guess the Godzillas are teaming up against the Bloops. They work together. Whatever that weird red Godzilla is, I I don't know. He's freaking me out, though. His little stubby arms just are weird. <laughs> like his arms are so little. I like Whalezilla. He's kind of got like a gorilla thing going on. This dude has the complete opposite. He's just got like baby arms attached to his chest. Oh, oh, it's so weird looking. I would say he's cool looking, but his arms throw it off. I, I can't, I can't in good conscience say that this red Godzilla is cool looking because his arms are just way too weird. But this Bloop is getting destroyed. You're not looking good, Bloop. It's not looking good for you, man. Okay, never mind. Bringing it back. Just tail whip the heck out of Whalezilla. And now he's getting... I, I, why? This bloop actually chews. Like... 
I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it. He's about to shoot a giant purple beam of death. Mostly powered by his short arms. Didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. Like, literally, Blue just had like a scratch and you just itched it. And Whalezilla's getting chomped. Or not. Or not. It's Godzilla, the hero we didn't know we needed. <laughs> his weird brother, Red Godzilla. Oh man, I love this. Okay, so Godzilla is saving his his whale shark or whalezilla brother, cousin. We'll say they're cousins. Now they're face to face. Wait, no, you're red Godzilla. Okay, all the Godzillas have have gathered together. He's gonna do his blue laser. He's gonna do his purple laser. I don't think. Oh, whale. I was gonna say whalezilla doesn't have a laser, but he has a laser. He's a yellow laser of doom, and it's combining to become a spirit bomb from Dragon Ball Z, which I love. Now that blue is dead. And there's always a bigger fish. What is that bigger fish, you might ask? Is this... This is red bloop, I think? And he is way bigger than regular bloop and clearly is unaffected by the team efforts of the Godzillas. Their spirit bomb is not working. And Whalezilla's getting chomped again. Poor guy, this is the second time getting eaten today. I think this time it's a little bit more permanent though. But Godzilla is very unhappy about this situation. Which is fair. He just watched his cousin get eaten by a giant red bloop. Is he going head on with giant red bloop? Do you really think that's a good idea, Godzilla? Listen. Okay, all right. He's 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 trying. A for effort. I don't I don't know if this is going to work out for you, Godzilla. Is he is he finding his inner strength? Oh, this dude's charging up. He just turned into a jet. Did he just fly into the red bloop's mouth? And then did he just like blow himself up inside of red bloop to save all the Godzillas? He, he's a hero. Weird stubby arm Godzilla is a hero. Yeah, he sacrificed himself so that Godzilla may go on. And then, of course, there's another bloop. We saw this bloop earlier. I hate it. I hate everything about that bloop. What is going on with its weird mouth? It's like a... I don't even know. Kind of got like an anglerfish sort of thing going on. But way freakier looking. Almost like a leech. It's kind of like a leech, right? Ah! Mm -hmm. Well... There goes Godzilla. Unless another Godzilla shoots a laser from the sky. What is this? Skyzilla? Who are you? Thor? Who's this guy? He's obviously very large. Is he Daddy Godzilla? Oh my gosh, dude, he's massive like compared to Godzilla and actually okay so at the end of this animation there's a size comparison that they do I really want to see that because I want to see all of the comparisons between the different monsters that we're seeing in this animation that would be really interesting but right now this dude is the biggest that we've seen like by far Although I feel like red bloop was bigger than this weird leech bloop. Whatever this thing is. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate its mouth. I don't know what's worse. The stubby arm Godzilla or weird leech bloop. Either way, I'm having a great time watching these though. But I really want to see the size comparison. 
Okay, what are you gonna do, Leech Bloop? Uh, that can't be what this thing is called. Leech Bloop? That's, that's why I'm calling it, but I don't know what... Uh, it must have a better name than that, maybe. You guys just looking into each other's eyes and then fall in love? Turns out they did not fall in love. Um, I mean, the, the, the Leech Bloop is pretty big. Now that I'm seeing them, like, hug each other. He just threw that dude like he was nothing. What are you gonna do, weird leech bloop? It looks like things are not looking up for ya. Oh, he's charging up. He's charging up. The final blow? He, he shoots out of his nose. So, does that... Is, are we implying here that this Godzilla has laser snot? Because I really like the idea of that. It didn't really work. It feels like that did not work. And Sharkzilla's back. I thought you got eaten. Oh no, he, he, got, he got eaten by the original bloop, and then the original bloop got taken out and then he swam out oh, oh no gosh okay that's a that's a very very dead uh, yeah okay but now we have the size comparison here so whalezilla sitting at a, a 120 meters tall okay sharkzilla about the same but maybe not quite as like just hefty as Whalezilla. Godzilla, again, you know, he's a, like 110 meters, which is pretty big. And then whatever you are, I don't even know, man. What happened to you? Why? Okay, you're, you're about the same as Godzilla, but your tail is taller than Godzilla. Okay, now we're, we're getting bigger. Okay, bloop. Bloop is about 150 meters tall. Like his mouth. Oh, we're going. Okay, red bloop. 100, uh, 265 ish meters, I would say. That's uh, that's pretty big. And then leech bloop, whose name I still don't know. He's about the same as red bloop. 265, I would say. Okay. And then mega daddy Godzilla is 300 meters tall. There you go. But now we're taking this fight to space. This is Space Bloop versus Space Godzilla. And same thing, stick around to the end because we get to see a size comparison of all of the monsters that are going to be battling in this specific series of, of animations and uh it should be very interesting um but we're we're going to space because earth can no longer hold these monsters captive uh okay are you space godzilla because you are like awesome looking straight up also are those eyes along his like belly space space blue you got eyes and 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 space godzilla just like gravitron the the space bloop. All right, show off. You got crystals for, for spikes, whatever. You think you're so cool? Actually, he is pretty cool. I like that he has like a lightning bolt coming out of his forehead. Something about lightning bolts coming out of your forehead is a cool thing, all right? I'm a sucker. Okay, okay, they, they, they have engaged. They are now battling to the death. What are you gonna do, Space Blue? Do you shoot lasers? You got a lot of eyes or something. I don't know. Maybe he's got, maybe he's actually like a passenger vehicle and there's actually people inside of Space Blue looking out. Those are windows. Those are just, those are bay windows to, to see all the excitement. I don't know. Probably not. If you're a passenger on Space Blue, you're, you're probably more of lunch on Space Blue. Okay, they're just kind of like they're 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 sparring. They're kind of going back and forth, but he's doing something now. 
He can control gravity, it seems, which is super awesome, but a little overpowered. I think that's a little unfair for Space Bloop. Yeah, you're just, you're tossing them around. What is Space Bloop supposed to do when you can control his flight? It's not fair. Also, do you shoot lasers? Do you shoot lasers and control gravity, Space Godzilla? You gotta answer me. You gotta answer my question. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's charging up. He shoots space lasers. In case you were wondering. Of course he does. All the other Godzillas did. This dude is like mega Godzilla compared to the previous Godzillas. I like that Space Bloop is doing some dodging though. A little serpentine, you just gotta... Oh, okay. He put up a shield right before it cut away. So I assume we're gonna go back to that battle, but now we're cutting away to some other event. Just, just the Godzilla, the Earth Godzillas hanging out, doing their thing. What is the Earth Godzilla's thing? Whatever they're doing right now. Okay, yeah, we're going back. They, they, I bet you they, they're like, he's calling us, Space Godzilla. We must save him or something. Maybe they both got knocked out. Oh, oh, what happened? Man? Did, did he just eat a crystal from Space Godzilla? What, what was that? That was, okay, that was earlier. He ate that earlier. Is that what happened? And then, and then Space Godzilla is trying to get it back? Oh, I'm very confused. Maybe that was how Space Godzilla was controlling him because he had a piece of like his gravity crystals. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that there's big giant monsters fighting each other in outer space. That's what matters. Okay, all the Godzillas, all the bloops are being absorbed by space bloop. This doesn't seem fair for the Godzillas. I mean, space bloop is already massive. But what is happening with these these other bloops? He's transforming. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He is absorbing the other bloops. What are you going to become? Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Okay, that has to be one of the coolest looking bloops we've ever seen. This design is awesome. It has like a skull on its forehead or something. I don't even know, but it is really cool looking. I like that. But he was already winning. Like he was already stronger than the Space Godzilla. He was clearly winning the fight. Space Godzilla was running away. And then he turned into something even like scarier and stronger. Seems kind of overkill. Unless the Godzillas start working together. Can they do the same thing? Oh yeah, of course they can. They can fuse. Duh, you didn't know Godzillas could fuse together and turn themselves into energy and combine their bodies to become a completely new creature? Well, now you know. <laughs> so this is Space Godzilla and like Super Daddy Godzilla. They have fused. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that that's a cool looking Godzilla. Okay, th this is this is going places and I am delighted because these both of the monster designs here are insanely cool. And what I'm really looking forward to is 
the size comparisons. It seems like the new Space Bloop is quite a bit bigger than Mega Mega Space Daddy Godzilla, but that doesn't mean that he's more powerful. Like this dude, remember, he can control gravity and he can also shoot space lasers. But Space God or Space Blue can can dodge, which we learned. He's very capable of that until he's not, and he just took that laser to the face and it barely even phased him. So why dodge? Just oh. Oh, he did a little he did a little flyby attack there. I think he cut him. I think Godzilla cut Bloop when he flew past him. Maybe. Oh, now he's now he's pushing all the the meteors. Of course Bloop is just going to eat the rocks. Why wouldn't he? He eats everything. Just don't eat earth. I like it here. I'd like it to stay. I just I'd prefer to not have my home eaten by a giant space fish. He's baby birding the the meteors. Straight up regurgitating those things. Straight at Super Space Godzilla. Super Space Daddy Godzilla. <laughs> They're back on the moon. <laughs> back to battling on the moon. Oh. Oh, he's glowing. Is he charging? Does he have lasers? He's got to have lasers. Or something. Or, or maybe he's, like, defusing. Like he's lost control of all the power. What? What is happening? Oh. Oh, is he? He's, he's just trying to like send the final blow. Space Godzilla or Space Bloop? <laughs> that has to hurt. Don't you hate it when a giant space fish headbutts you right in the stomach? It's the worst. They're just staring at each other. Maybe they will finally fall in love. I don't think they're going to fall in love. Something tells me this isn't going to end well for either of them. But we'll see. I think at this point I'm kind of putting my money on uh, Mega Daddy Godzilla. Space Godzilla, whatever his name is. Got this. Good dodge. Solid work. Okay. What's your plan, though? Wait, did he, did he grab him by the tail? No. He's gonna blast him in the tail. Is that? That's probably uh, the 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 skull on Bloop's forehead is probably like reinforced, right? So that's why he's he's shooting him in the back. Less protection there. Mm, very smart, Space Godzilla, Daddy guy. He's charging up again, though. He ain't done. Or is he? Okay, now he's blinking. That seems bad for Space Blue. He's, he's, he's not looking too good. He's having a hard time mustering the energy. Oh. Oh. Okay, they are, they are now hovering over Earth, which is not great for us. Living there. Oh. What the heck is that thing? It's a weird looking mastodon or something. They're okay, they're they're coming to Earth. Cool. That's fun. Oh gosh. Is that the end? I, I feel like taking Space Godzilla and and coming all the way down to Earth and smashing him into the Earth. It is going to be the end for Space Godzilla. But he's getting back up. What? Dude, this guy is quite possibly invincible. He's turning green. 
He hasn't done that before. That's new. This is his next Super Saiyan level, I guess. Is the is the skull face enough? Sheesh. Space Godzilla wins. And now we get the size comparisons. Oh man, I'm, well, I'm glad that I was right. I was right. Um, that was quite the back and forth though. Okay, so Space Godzilla isn't much bigger than the regular Godzillas, but Super Daddy Space Godzilla. He's about uh, 530 meters tall with his lightning crystal head. And uh, wow, space blue. Okay. So technically Space Godzilla is bigger than space blue in their like final form, whatever. Either way, that was awesome.